Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham and this is going to be three ways to help you hit your driver longer. Very simple ways to get you to maximise your distance with the big stick. We all want to do it. We all want to hit the ball further. So let's get straight into it and talk about the, the ideal hitting action to maximise your driver. Driver hitting action really wants to be hit on the way up. So we want to hit the driver on an upward arc into the shot. Now to do that, we've got to set up efficiently enough to make that actually happen. We can set up incorrectly and this then becomes very difficult to hit up on the ball. Pointers to hit up on the ball, it's important that we have the ball inside left heel. That's again in its optimum place to get hitting the ball on the way up. And we've got to set the body in a certain way to actually maximise our hitting up potential. And to do that, we've got to actually get the upper body to slightly tilt. So actually getting the right shoulder lower than the left or right in the golfer, as you see me here, this right, my right shoulder is lower than my left. And from my belt buckle to my sternum, I've got a tilt. Not a super tilt, because that would make things too hard and you would hit behind the ball. Just a tilted position to actually optimise that up strike into the ball. When hitting up in the ball, it's also very important to tee the ball higher than the club face. So, opt, you know, you'd normally read that about half the ball above the club face. I'd even go with just a fraction higher than that. So slightly more than half the ball above the head when you're hitting up. It'll help you hit up as well. When you see a ball teed up that high, the visual aesthetics of that also causes you to want to hit up on the ball a lot more. So ball position inside left heel. We want to tilt the body so it, the right shoulder is lower than the left. And from our belt buckle, we've got that tilt. And try and get the club slightly straighter than forward. We never want the driver head actually leaning forward. We want this driver shaft to almost be dead straight. So pointing just up toward my, my crest here on my left, uh, left side of my shirt. That's where I want the club pointing towards. I don't want it going too far forward. And I don't massively want it leaning back. I just want that club shaft to be straight as this camera here from the face on is seeing that. I'm going to hit this one and then we're going to talk about point number two. So I'm tilted back and I'm going to purposely hit up on this ball, trying to stay in that tilted position. Crushed it. Right. I wasn't saying these were going to be accurate, I just said they were going to be straight. Um, <laughs> sorry, long. <laughs> um, so that was number one. It was pretty straight, to be fair. So that was number one. That's one way of managing to maximise your distance to get you hit the ball longer. Hitting up on the ball and taking those appropriate changes in setup to maximise that. The next important factor on this is how we can create power during the downswing to get this club head travelling as fast as we can. Now this might come as a shock to you, but I'm not a massively strong person. I know, I realise that might come as a bit of a shock, but I'm upper body, not strong at all. I'm happy to admit that. But I can still make the ball go very far because I don't use my arms. I use a much bigger muscle source than that and I use my legs. I use these bad boys because the legs are a massive way of creating power. You see all of the top tour players in the world and when they train, and obviously when I train, it's all about leg work, it's all about getting the, the glutes and the quads and, the, and the, you know, loads of squat works, all of the action, because the legs play an absolutely enormous part to create power and how we actually use the legs during the downswing. And a lot of the leg action comes from this idea of almost squatting as the golfer starts to come down and then extending through. And this is why you'll see loads of top players in the world what would appear like the losing height, they're not losing height. They're using their legs as power sources, using the ground's energy, and then trampolining that into the, into the actual golf swing to create this club head speed that many of these top guys in the world create. Fast, very fast club head speeds. So I think this is a skill at first that will take a little bit of practice time, get down to the range first before attempting this on the first tee of your, your next uh, monthly medal. But the idea is when you start to come down in the swing, use your legs and use the power and the squat action to then extend and push through. Whenever I hit my super long drive, when I really absolutely crush it, I can always feel my kind of um, muscle just below my bum, like come alive, like just, just go for it. 
And I, is that is that the glutes? Is that what Tiger was on about all those you know a couple of years ago? That's what I feel like. Really, kind of just powers through the shot. My legs almost jump up as I come in to hit the shot. And you see all of the top drivers in the world, they will do that. Certain so long ones. So a side note on this, one way of managing that as well is giving you a, giving yourself a wide enough stance for your legs to actually operate. If you go a bit too narrow, I can't, you know, I can't move, I can't squat, I can't use that power. If you go too wide, again, it becomes unobtainable. So ideally the feet width wider than the shoulders, but without doing the splits. Don't go super, super wide. So just wider than the shoulders. And then the action then is on the downswing to go lower, use the legs and then power through the shot. Again, please take this to the driving range first before taking it onto the first tee. So squat and then explode. Oh. And honestly, I can feel my legs kind of just whoo, like shooting off the ground, using the ground's energy to help me hit the ball further. Right, final point. And this is what I'm a massive advocate of. See, a lot of golfers create power, but don't actually efficiently put it in the club head. Because as the golfer starts to come down in the swing, their arms start to retract instead of extend instead of really allowing the club head to, to explode, to go through the golf ball. So my last point to help you hit the ball longer is allow this club head and your arms to really extend through the shot. Try and on the way through, get your arms and club head as far away from your body as possible. Again, that's not leaving any club head speed behind. All the goodness that you've done in your swing, by hitting up, by using your legs. You're not gonna waste it by retracting that energy. You're gonna put it into the golf shot. So, we've got our wide stance, we've got the body tilted, we're using our legs, squat and explode, and then really get these arms extending and just go into target. You know, really try and get these arms and club head extending away from your body. You can see there on the video, my arms are at full extension as I'm, as I'm going through and beyond the shot. Guys, go out there, practice those three pieces of advice. You will hit the ball longer. This is not an accuracy video. <laughs> this is a length video. We should see more club head speed. We should see more efficiency of energy going through the ball. And then your club head speed and your ball speed should go through the roof. Guys, do practice any of this advice first on the driving range, please. Do not attempt this straight on the first tee. It will take time to become familiar with. Some more than, some more than others. Some might be able to pick it up and do it like that. Others, it might just take a little bit longer time. But those three pointers will get you hitting the ball longer. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click that big massive thumbs up button down at the bottom corner. Also, if you are new to my channel, please click this big subscribe button here. You can follow me on, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm also on Snapchat now. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next time. Hopefully hitting the ball ridiculously longer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.